I, I don't really see a problem with it. Um, I'm just a normal guy, just normal upbringing, good grades. Um, I just ha happen to carry a blanket with me wherever I go. I loved him. I really did. But you know, there comes a time when it stops being cute and it is just odd. Well, I've had it since I was a child. You know, this is sort of a security blanket to me, you know, whenever I'm scared, nervous. <sighs> it gets me through it. I knew something odd was, was afoot when there was a fire in our flat. The fire department put four people in the flat, but he ran back in just for the blanket. They found him unconscious on the floor. That's when I knew things were getting a bit creepy. Yeah, just a class of personalities, really. She was just all up in my face about it, and she just couldn't understand why I had a blanket with me all the time. I mean, especially when we were in bed, she did not, did not like that at all. She, she just said to me, OK, Tom, it's time for you to decide. It's either me or the blanket. And so it's quite obvious to me what I chose, and then I chose this. I first met him at the hospital, actually. I'm starting to be a med student, and that's when I first saw him. Tom was a patient. We were being shown around the hospital, and I saw him. He looked so adorable and helpless, just so sweet and innocent. I took Viagra for the first time, and after a few hours, my erection just wouldn't go down. So I called the hospital. They brought me in, um, and she had to stick a needle in my penis to drain the blood and you just don't not bond after something like that. Would I consider meeting him again? Um... Yeah, yeah, I think so. He, he really meant a lot to me. She wants to meet up again. Well, that's actually good. We did have some good times together, I suppose. Yeah, I'll tap that again. Yeah, I'll meet up with him again. But only if he agrees not to bring the blankets. Oh, you didn't say that? No, not a chance. I'll never leave my blanket, it goes everywhere with me. No, I wouldn't see it as a problem. Um, if people think it's a problem, then they can just get lost, really. But I hope they just take it as a quirk. I mean, the relationship between me and my blanket, it just means the world to me. Friends, girlfriends, they all come and go. But my blanket is always here for me, you know? So, if there's one piece of advice I'll give anyone, it's, you know, go out there, find your own blanket in your own way. And that's all I've got to say, really.